Hello everybody, and welcome to The Long Dark. Now, this game I've uh, just recently um, discovered um, via my friend, um, uh, Brennan. Um, he pointed me to this game. It's a, um, it's a kind of like a survival game. It's, I mean, I'd almost call it a sandbox, but not really, because you don't really create anything. You just kind of wander around in the wilderness trying to survive for as long as you can. Um, I just got a new mic, if you can't hear, and I've been trying to test it out. I thought, why not start with this game? Because it's kind of a very slow, methodical game, and there's probably not going to be a, a very much going on at certain points. Sorry, I'm just moving the mic. You'll probably hear that. And, uh, I just wanted to see, like, how it would pick up this kind of stuff, so... Let's get started. I'm just gonna move the mic over again. Kinda wanna get it pointed properly. Okay. That's probably gonna be as good as it will get. So, enough phone around. I have played the game for a while. I mean, like, a, not for a while, but like, maybe for, I don't know, maybe three or four hours of the game at absolute most. Because if I was going to play the game, I wanted to make sure that uh, I didn't, uh, I don't know, what was I saying? Uh, that I didn't, like, go into this completely blind. I wanted to make sure that I was somewhat efficient in my, um, in my travels. So that's what I plan to do. Um, these two places, the Coastal Highway and the, uh, Mystery Lake are, uh, two very, I don't know, I'm probably gonna choose that because it's the beginning area. I'm gonna call it Spud Leeville. There we go. A mysterious geomagnetic storm has brought your plane crashing down into the northern Canadian wilderness. How long can you survive? There we go. It is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent that survives. It is the one that is most adaptable to change. Charles Darwin. Ooh, I think I've started in a very nice area. Holy crap, I have tons of supplies already. It's probably going to be good, actually. Take that. There was nothing in there. Ooh. Oh. What? Oh, okay. No, I don't want that. Hope I can still eat this. Yeah, that's good. Ooh, snare, that's very good. Holy crap, I'm actually getting a lot of really nice stuff here. It's awesome. Don't think I can do anything about that. Crap, I'm getting a lot of good stuff. <sighs> Nothing in there? Crap, this area is pretty good for just stuff in general. Nothing in there? What's that that keeps like moving around? Oh, there we go. Okay. I could use this. It's awesome, but useless without a rifle. I'd assume there's probably a rifle somewhere around here. If there's not, I'm going to be kind of mad. Awesome. Seems to be doing. I think we've got a pretty good setup right now. seeing anything. Most of the time you kind of want to crouch in this game to see if you can find anything under the, uh, just anything. I think I'm pretty much good for resources. Oh, I haven't even checked up there. I didn't even check that. Hope I can still eat this. 
Yeah, that's good, actually. I would have missed out on that. Cloth, always nice. Can repair some clothing. Before I do anything, I should probably check and see what I got. I have a snare. I got some... Well, yeah, I already got that. I only got six matches. Oh, no, that's that's bullets. Got that. I got two sewing kits. That's really good. Can I repair any of this stuff? Probably repair those ski gloves and... Hmm... I'm gonna try and repair those ski gloves. See what I can do. That work? Yeah, it didn't. Crap. I have to waste some more. I get it? Yes, okay, good. It's probably gonna be as good as I'm gonna get right now. Dang it, I don't think that there's a gun in here. Well, this seems like it would be a good place to kind of hunker down. I could probably last about a week here, considering how much how many supplies I have. But we need to figure out what's outside. Uh, I'm pretty lucky to have spawned in that place, because nine times out of ten, you're not getting anywhere near um, the hall I just got. Seems like a pretty good place. Don't want to burn too many calories, but at the same time, I kind of want to get moving. Because this game does take up a lot of time. If I had a gun, I'd be set for a while. Just gonna kinda walk around, see what I can get for supplies. Seriously, I'm super mad that I didn't get a gun. But I'm gonna keep all the stuff that I have because it's not weighing me down too much at the moment. I'll drop it if I... Uh, like, if it gets to a certain point. For now, let's just see what I can find outside. Besides, tons of wildlife. I'm trying to look for little tracks in the snow, because that's a sign that a rabbit has been here, and I can set up a snare possibly catch myself some dinner. Sure, I'll just do that. No, I don't want to like that. No, I don't want to spend too much time breaking up branches and getting cold. It'd end up being useful. Yep. Ooh, are those birds? A lot of times if you see them, that means that there's some supplies nearby. Because if they circle around areas. Come here, dear. Let me devour your flesh. I shall kill you with my bare hands. I'm joking, obviously. I just kind of want them. These are some dumb deer, honestly. Like, if you could improve the animal eye, yeah, that would be fantastic. That's the only thing I'd have to say about this game. Like, honestly, I think some people have been complaining and saying that, oh, wolves attacking you in the wilderness is unlikely and stuff, but no, no, that's not the case ever, I'd say. You know, in certain situations, like, this takes place on a situation where basically um, all, I mean, like, we're hit by a geomagnetic storm that this, that basically fries almost all electronics that we own, and people are forced to move into the wilderness, that kind of stuff. But I don't know, like, in situations like this where there's uh, food is scarce, and, bo I mean, dead bodies are around. Like, um, wolves are probably going to eat those dead bodies at some point and start viewing humans as prey items. I don't think it's that, uh, that's that unlikely. Honestly. I 
I mean, no offense to the wolves. I'm sure that they're awesome and adorable and stuff, but, like, I don't know. People like PETA really need to understand that wolves are gonna, you know... Sure, wolves might be friendly, but once they get hungry, they're gonna turn on you. That's just how it is. I don't know. I don't know, like, that's just kind of enough. At the same time, you know, like, I'm sure a lot of people are... Wait. Ah, oh, see? When you see a bird circling like that, that means that there's something down there. Is that a dead body? Why, yes, it is. I'm gonna name you Frank. Hello, Mr. Frank. Can I have your hatchet? Thanks. Max's last stand. I guess your name is Max, then. Ooh, matches. That's good. Or beef jerky. That's good. I, I think I may have lost where I was before, honestly. Wait, no. I think these are my footprints. Is there another dead body? Yes, there is. I bet your name is Frank. Oh yeah, that's really good for burning. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Ooh, downfield ski jacket. That's probably gonna be good. Probably repair that back at the homestead if I can ever find my way back. Okay, whatever. Ooh, some more birch bark. I could use this. This game is an early alpha, I should say that. Well, actually, maybe not early alpha. I'm not sure. The game is pretty playable at the moment. Uh, what was I saying before? Oh, yeah, about, um,. I don't know, like, one of the things I've noticed in my videos is I never seem to finish a thought. But, um, anyway, like, as I was talking b before about, like, wolves and, I don't know, hunting and that kind of stuff, I kind of feel like, I don't know, a lot of people think hunting is bad, or meat is murder, but, you know what, I might as well, since this game is kind of slow and I'm currently trekking up this long hill, I might as well talk a little bit about it. In my opinion, I feel that, you know, I don't know, animal rights are, in some ways, very important. I feel that if you're gonna kill an animal, you do it quick, and you do it with, I mean, make sure the animal has at least some form of dignity. But, um, crap, I have no idea where I am. This is not a good start. Wait, is that what I, where I'm going over there? That might be it. But, um, I don't know. Honestly, I think that's pretty important, but at the end of the day, a human's life is more important than an animal's life. At least that's how I feel about the subject. Besides, meat is, meat is tasty. Just to be honest, just saying that. And, I don't know. Like, you can believe whatever you want, but whatever you say isn't going to change my opinion. Whatever I say to you is not going to change your opinion. So, you know. Uh, why waste the time? Um, I don't know, that's how sometimes I feel on the subject. But, uh, I don't know, in, in terms of hunting, I feel it's very important in some ways. Because, you know, sure, those deer might have done nothing wrong, but in the, at the end of the day, I don't know. I don't know, I actually went hunting out with my dad recently. It was real fun. We actually got a deer. It was nice. And again, some people might say shooting an animal is, you know, not, I mean, is, you know, evil and that kind of stuff. But, uh, but at the end of the day, I don't know. My opinion. Oh, sorry about that. That was my phone. I'll have to get that in a moment. But, um... I don't know, I feel that it's very important in some ways to, I mean, like, just like one of the first things is, of course, the reason why a lot of people hunt is because of the population. Because if too many deers come around, um, they're going to eat up a lot of the, I mean, a lot of the food, and, I mean, that they have around, and of course then their population is going to explode, and uh, of course then they're probably, I mean, all that food is going to be gone, and then they'll starve. And not to mention they'll probably... I mean, I don't know, it just ruins the ecosystem in some ways. Keeping them in check is very important. Not to mention, you know, I mean, I'd say the worst kind of hunters are the ones that shoot an animal and don't eat it. 
and then just kind of just take, I mean, trophy hunting, in my opinion, is I think not very, I don't know, I think that's probably the worst kind, because, you know, if you shoot an animal just to mount it on your wall, then the deer pretty much did die for nothing, you know? That's my opinion on the subject. I'm, I'm going to stop talking about that kind of stuff. Not to mention, though, it's just very nice to be able to go out in the, I mean, go out in the woods. And it's just dead silent, and, uh, just sit there and relax, and you wait for a deer to maybe show up. And the thing is that you wouldn't think, but a lot of animals just don't look up ever. And so when you're in a deer stand, it's really cool because you can just watch all the deer and it's just fun. Okay, I'm just gonna start a fire, see if I can cook something, get some calories in me, uh, hunker down and try and see if I can make a trek to civilization, see where it ends up. Come on. Also, again, there's like a chance that your fire will not start very often. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just gonna tired. I don't know this is kind of a nice game. It's almost relaxing, even though it really isn't at some points. Well, that didn't work. Ah, dang it! Seeing you waste resources when you do that. Stick. Hmm. Wait, did I burn a book? Oh no, I didn't burn a book. I forgot exactly how this works. Okay. 60% chance of success. We'll see what happens. <sighs> this game makes me sleepy. Again, like, it's nice that I'm actually in a house because, like, I mean, or a cabin because otherwise... Well, that didn't work. Oh my god. You know what, that's it. I'm gonna use my... I don't wanna... Yeah. Hmm. Just gonna do that. There we go. Awesome. Now I gotta fuel it. Here we go. That'll be good. It's time to, uh, maybe cook some food. with oh crap I'm actually pretty tired I need better okay then gonna get some food in me there you go and I think I am going to melt some water no Because I could use some more. There we go. Probably take a little while. But, like, water is very important in a lot of areas. So, you know, you need to make sure you get a lot of it. All the water is very, uh... I can just use those water purification tablets. That would be nice. Don't even have to worry about... Oh, well, then again, I might as well have just used it. Because in a survival situation, that's not going to be good. Whatever. Can I can I cook anything? I'll like put another stick on the fire and see if I can cook uh, a tomato soup. Let's see. Oh good. I didn't even need that extra stick on the fire. Good. 
I don't think there's anything else I can do. I'm just gonna see if I can get like maybe just a little bit more water. Probably not much, but yeah, just a little bit. And that'll be good. I don't think there's anything else I can do. What can I make on this workbench? Torch, snare. Ooh, wait. Cured gut and okay. Fucking line. Rabbit skin mitts, clumsy but very warm. Ooh, that that would be great. Deer skin boots, supple but warm and tough. Mm. Deer skin pants, wolf skin coat. Survival bow. That's what I probably need. See, I can get that. Like if I had a. If I found a carcass, I could probably do that. But, you know, whatever. Okay, I'm going to, uh... I don't think there's anything else I can harvest from this area. Hmm. Oh, this is nice, because this is usually not nearly as... As... I mean, I mean, you don't... You're not usually nearly as lucky as you are right now. I mean, like... I mean, as I am in this game right now. I'm just gonna... See how much I can rest. Oh crap, crap, I think I made a wasted an hour of daylight. Oh crap, actually, never mind. Ooh, I should probably, ooh, I'm a close, I almost, uh, crap, that's a, I need to drink some of that. Going back to bed. What did I just do? Where's my lantern? I just saw it. Can't see crap, Captain. Whatever. I'll just go to bed and pick it up in the morning. There we go. Is that my lantern? Is it stuck in the bed? Whatever. You know, I think I'm going to end this video here and see what I can find else, like, and, you know, come back later. Um, so thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day. Peace.